Hi there and welcome to another video. I am Raluca and because recently I have tested two popular plumping glasses new launches today I got the idea of comparing them. I am talking about the duck pump from NYX. This has been all over the internet. It's so popular and the lifter plump by Maybelline. I tested them both I reviewed them in separate videos. The first one that I tested was a duck plump from NYX and uh, yesterday actually I was testing the lifter plump from Maybelline and of course in my head I was comparing it to this one. So I decided to do a separate video in which I would um, share my impressions about both of these. So first things first, pricing wise these are identical. on. Uh, NYX's website and on Maybelline's website, each one of these is $13. Another difference there, I have two similar shades and I'm gonna do half of my lips with the Duck Plump and the other half with the Maybelline. The shades that I have here are a pink shade, um, it's the shade Pick Me Pink from the Duck Plump and the shade Pink Sting from Maybelline. I'm really excited. So both of these glosses are plumping, they have a burning effect on the lips. But we'll talk more about it once I apply them. I'm gonna start with the next one. So this is the shade 11 Pick Me Pink. Okay, of course, this has to sit for a while in order for me to feel the, the burning, the stinging of the plumping uh, gloss. This one from NYX, what I noticed immediately on it is that it's very, very pigmented for a gloss. It has the pigmentation of a liquid lipstick, but the shine of a gloss. Let's apply the Maybelline one it, in the shade 3, Pink Sting. As far as pigmentation goes, the Maybelline one is much more sheer. This is not a bad thing or a good thing, it kind of depends on your preferences. I prefer a more sheer gloss. If I want heavy pigmentation, I would rather go for a lipstick, but that's just me. Usually I'm afraid of smudging when it comes to really pigmented glosses. I'm gonna wait a bit and uh, tell you about the sensation that I feel. The downside is that the next one kind of gets in your mouth. It has ginger and I can taste ginger right now, while the Maybelline one claims to have chili in it, so kind of like <laughs> a little bit of a difference there as well. They are both burning at this point, but the next one, it feels more like a, like a tickle. So it's a little bit lighter in terms of the burning sensation, while the Maybelline one burns, like really, really burns on the lips. If I analyze it up close, let me see if I can zoom you. <laughs> I feel like the Maybelline side applies a bit more evenly. Maybe again, because of the lack of pigment, it's kind of easier for it to be smoother than the NYX one. But then this side burns. <laughs> it definitely can feel it. I don't even feel the NYX one anymore because it's overpowered, I guess, by the Maybelline one. Given the fact that it's a plumping gloss, I believe that you want the burning sensation. <laughs> but definitely the Maybelline one is much more intense. In terms of plumpiness, like really uh, noticing a difference in my lips, not really. Maybe I think the Maybelline one kind of um, makes the lips just a bit more swollen. I noticed when I tested it that it makes my lips red as well. I'm gonna wipe this off in a second for you to see the, the shade of my lips underneath because I think that's an interesting thing as well. In terms of shine, they are quite similar. So they're both just as shiny. Or is the Maybelline one a little bit more shiny? Uh, maybe just a tiny bit. Not really noticeable though. Okay, a good five minutes have passed. So this had plenty of time to do its thing on my lips. The Maybelline one still burns. The NYX one is much more comfortable. I don't really feel it. But what I want to do now is wipe them off. And... Uh, show you the effect that it has underneath my lips so that's gonna be interesting so these are my lips underneath uh, I feel like they're both a little bit more red than usual but this side is definitely a little bit more uh, affected <laughs> I guess by the gloss in terms of plumpiness I don't know what to say I don't know if these have a real plumping effect again maybe on this side my lips are a little bit more swollen, I guess, um, because they have been tortured by that gloss. 
also the contour of my lips is a little bit more um, defined I guess I can see more redness on uh, the lip line while on the next side my lips look kind of like almost normal and that's it, that's everything I had to say in terms of comparing these two products they are both nice products uh, they are good glosses kind of depends on what you're looking for uh, if you're looking a little for a little bit more pigment you can go for the next one if you're looking for uh, a little bit of torture you can go for the Maybelline one a winner for me would be the Maybelline one because I kind of like the effect a little bit more I, like I said, it's just a per personal preference. I prefer my glosses to not be as pigmented as the NYX one is. So that's my personal opinion and my personal choice. Nonetheless, they are both great. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. I hope it was interesting to watch. That's everything for me today. I'm gonna head out. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!